In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use markers for manually synchronizing your multicam clips. Once you've imported your content, go ahead and find the file that's called Carry Ann Vocals Only. Go ahead and double click on this, which should open it in the Source Monitor. Now, when you're in the Source Monitor, hover over to the Settings icon, also known as the Wrench icon, and you're currently in Composite Video. Go ahead and switch that over to Audio Waveform View, where now you're looking at the audio inside of that video clip. And towards the beginning of that audio, at approximately 10 seconds in, you'll see that we have two clapboard marks. Let's go over and hover over that first one, and we're going to use the plus key on the keyboard to zoom in to frame level. So now we are basically shuttling frame by frame. Hover over the frame that is closest to the beginning of that clapboard click, and go ahead and hit the marker key, or shortcut key M, to place a marker on the clip. Once you've done that, let's move over to the next file. Let's go to Piano Only. Bring that into the Source Monitor. Go ahead and switch over to Audio Waveform. You can see those clapboard marks at the beginning there. Let's use our plus key to zoom all the way in. Get as close as you can to the beginning of it, and set a marker. Drums only, same thing. Zoom all the way in, set a marker. Bass only, audio waveform. And make sure you're selecting the first clapboard marker. And lastly, let's go to the rough mix of the audio file itself. OK, so now all of your clips have markers in them at the synchronization point. So let's go ahead now and take that Carry On Vocals Only file, right click or control click, and choose New Sequence from Clip. And you'll notice down in the bottom here, you can see the markers that we created right on the clip itself. So now it's simply a matter of dragging in all the other content. Let's grab the piano video, drag that into track two. And again, as I drag, now I can snap the markers together. And when they change color, as you can see down below, that's how I know I've snapped them together in time. Grab the drums and do the same thing. And lastly, we'll grab the bass. Now, we're going to right click in the audio track header to add a new track. Select Add Tracks. And under Add One Audio Track, choose Before the First Track, Standard Type, and click OK. Now take the audio file, Carry On Rough Mix, drag that in, and align it so that the markers snap together. So now that we have everything together, we're ready to create our multicam sequence. Go ahead and select all of your video. Right click or control click and choose Nest. We'll call this Multi and click OK. Now you can see we have a nested multicam clip. Right click on that, go up to Multi Camera. Enable. Now we're ready to begin cutting our multicam sequence together. However, we have to enable the multicam viewer inside the program monitor. The viewer looks like this. If you don't see this button, click on the plus sign in the button editor, locate the multicam review button, and simply drag it down into your series of buttons and click OK. Once you enable this, you should now see something that looks like this, where you see all four cameras. Now, it may make sense for you to go ahead and mute all of the other channels, since we're only going to be playing audio out of track one. And now, to cut between the cameras, I can simply hit the space bar to begin playback and use one, two, three, four on the keyboard, or simply click on the individual cameras to change them, like this. Carry on, I want to be your man. I should be working on the moves. 
And that is essentially how you begin the process of multicam cutting with Premiere.